article of Dana Filter checking out the day I lost my mind. That's a that's a strong song title, and this comes from Rise of the Phoenix. Also a strong band name. That's a good one. I'm surprised it hasn't been taken before. That feels like a like a thing that would have been used. Rise of the Phoenix. But whatever. Let's check it out. The day I lost my mind. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh shit. Talk! Someone give me something strong to hold on to. Mm. Feeling kind of lost cause I have nothing left to lose. All these empty feelings, they just so overwhelm me. I'm at a breaking point and I don't know what I will do. The day I lost my mind. Oh shit! That's a strong chorus, and Big Homie crushed it. Crushed it. You gotta pay a That was a sweet transfer, let's be serious. In the start of that verse, that was nice. Let's cook. Ah. That was nice. He played with it right there at the end. They got a little ice slight. No one overreact, but a little. A little, uh, five-finger death punch vibe. Just a smidge in there a little bit. Ugh.
Okay, here's the game. A little sprinkles of theory of a dead man on there and there's one more I can't think of the name of the band but the vocalist sounds a lot like it's gonna drive me fucking nuts but there is one that he sounds almost identical to just the vocals especially when he ripped the note at the end I was like it went bing it's somebody holy shit I can't think of it it's gonna drive me fucking crazy but that was a great song they killed it absolutely crushed it That was much better than I had any... I had no idea what to expect, but that was better than what the, whatever the fuck I was expecting. That beat it. That beat it. Absolutely crushed that, guys. The day I lost my mind. It's a goddamn good song. That's a, that's a legitimate banger. A legitimate banger, man. Out of left field, too. Out of left fucking field. And the, everything about it was good. Mainly the guitar solo was crushed and the vocals were ridiculous the whole way through. Especially, whoa, 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 the second verse or the second chorus? Was I, is it the weed or is it, did I, I, or I heard harsh vocals backing him up and it was awesome. Like they were really well done harsh vocals. It, it matched his vocal like it didn't feel too odd, like out of place, there you go, didn't feel out of place, it worked, like whoever did the harsh vocals there, it, it worked with the, the leads, cleans perfectly right behind it, and then over, I think over top too, later in the chorus, good stuff, and I don't think that was any harsh vocals in the first chorus, I love it, I love when the choruses aren't the identical, you know, you, a lot of people go in the studio, you record the chorus once, once you crush it and you're, like, good to go, you just copy and paste it three, four times on the track, and you're done with the chorus. I hate that. <laughs> I hate it. I like when every chorus is a little different. You know, season your fucking food. Make it a little taste a little different. That's all. But they fucking killed that. Let me know what you guys think down below. Rise of the Phoenix. Still shocks no one's had that name. Right? Because it's got to be the name of a whole bunch of albums by people. And the names of different... It's like a name of a Harry Potter movie, I think. Like, it's the name of a whole bunch of shit. So I am surprised. Also, nice logo, whoever came up with that. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you are still here, then you are a real one. Rise of the fucking Phoenix. Nice little done.